Okay, so hey guys, the first thing that I do is go to the iMovie app, and when it opens, you just have all of your projects out, and you can just see everything that you've made so far. To make a new project, you're just going to press the add button, which is on the top left-hand corner, and you want to click movie, not trailer. And then please ignore those text messages and all the stuff I have in my camera roll. But you're just going to scroll down to whatever media you're going to import it might be easier just to go to the video file itself and just find the media you're trying to import so once i found the file that i want to import i'm going to select it and then press the little check button and that is going to add it into my timeline and you can select as many clips as you need once you're done you're going to click create movie and then you're just going to have everything in your timeline. So now I'm going to show you guys an example of how to split a clip. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I stopped what I was doing to fix my hair. And you don't really want to incorporate that into your video. So what you're going to do, you are going to pause the video. And you're going to place the cursor, which is that invisible line, where you want to split the clip. You're then going to just select the clip highlighting it and right beneath the clip is going to say split and you're just going to select that. To delete a clip, all you're going to do is select it and underneath it is going to say delete and you're just going to select that. Basically, you just keep on doing that until your video looks more coherent and there's not any random pauses of you fixing your hair or doing whatever. It just helps it flow a lot better. Okay, so now we're going to go over transitions, and transitions are really cool because they can help your video just flow seamlessly into each other, like all the different clips. So after splitting a clip, you're going to see the space, the little like mark in between the clips you just split. And all you have to do is select that mark, and it's going to come up with different transitions that you can use between clips. I really went to Sephora like the next day after Christmas, but I picked up some. Giving me a fifty dollar next day after Christmas, but I picked up. So let's say that we wanted to speed up or slow down a clip. All you would do is select it, and then you would go to the left hand corner, and there's like a little speed dial, and you're able to speed up the clip if you want, or you can slow it down. I'm out of stuff from Sephora. At least I don't think I did. If you want, you also have the option to change the filter of your video. And once again, all you have to do is go to the left hand bottom corner and next to the text symbol are where your filters will be. Now let's say you wanted to shorten a clip. You didn't want to necessarily split it, but short it. All you have to do is select the clip. Well, first you want to pinpoint where you want to shorten the clip to, and then you select it and just drag it to that pinpoint area you had it. Well, if you want to detach the audio for whatever reason, all you have to do is split it if necessary and on the right hand corner, there's going to be a button called detach and all you have to do is select it and your audio is detached and there's no more audio. You could have of course just turned down all the audio for that clip as well if you wanted to. Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. And this is in Mocha. So if you wanted to add text, all you have to do is go to the bottom left hand corner of the screen and select the little T symbol. And then there's going to pop up a whole bunch of text options and where the text will be lined and centered as well. So if you wanted to add music or any audio to your project, all you would do is hit that plus button again, which is on the left side of your screen, and it's going to pop up different options such as theme music, sound effects, your playlist, albums, whatever, and you can choose whatever you want. I would recommend um, 
using instrumental versions of songs because you will get copyrighted and your channel will get a strike. Some songs you won't be able to use from iTunes just because what you will do is you just select that song and it will be dragged to your timeline and it's basically the same um, format for editing it as it is with clips. You can split it, you can change the volume, you can do a lot of stuff with it. So once you're done, you're just going to hit the done button, which is on your left side again. And to export, you're going to hit the middle button, which is like a box with an arrow coming out of it. And it's going to ask you where you want to save it. I usually save it as a video, but you can save it wherever you want. You have a ton of options. And sometimes depending on how large and big the file is, um, it depends on the export size. I usually export 1080 and it really does not take that long to export, but that's really it for iMovie. It's really simple and I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and it helped.